for a statement and I give the floor to the delegation of Sir Malia. Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the Commission, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by commending the Chair of the Commission on Population and Development, Ambassador Gonzalo Conque of Uruguay, and the members of the Bureau on their work in preparing this session of the CPD. It gives me great pleasure to participate in the 47th session of the Commission on Population and Development on behalf of my government. Mr. Chairman, as you're all aware, Somali is emerging from decades of political turmoil and is currently characterized by having stages of emergency, recovery, and development situation in different parts of the country that sometimes revert interchangeably depending on the situation. Therefore, on top of facing all the challenges low-income countries are struggling with, we have additional obstacle, namely security which is an important factor that needs to be taken into account. We acknowledge the finding and recommendation of the global ICBD beyond 2014 review, including the outcomes of the Maputo Action Plan and the Addis Ababa Declaration on Population and Development in Africa beyond 2014, as well as the Arab State Regional Conference, which constitute plans of action for the Arab region. Somali is soon to achieve these goals through utilization of data generated from the ongoing population estimation survey of for Somalia, the PES, conducted by the Somali federal government with the assistance from the UNFP so FPA Somalia to identify and quantify the magnitude of the problem and to measure the impact of intervention that will be put in place to the development of appropriate policies. Our government conveys its commitment for the accelerated progress within the context of the findings and the recommendation of the regional reviews elaborated in the 2013 Cairo conference. I want to assure you all that the President of the Federal Republic of Somalia, His Excellency Hassan Sheikh Mohammed, and the Prime Minister of Somalia, His Excellency Abdul Sheikh Ahmed, are fully committed to raise the standard of education, health, and to promote the dignity and rights of women and girls, as well as the demand for access to utilization of equitable and improved reproductive health service, particularly for the most vulnerable groups. We have recently expressed our, fully, our full support to the conclusion of the Commission of the Statutes of Women and committed to protect the right of women against gender-based violence and harmful traditional practices, such as female genital mutilation and forced early marriages. Today, with the support of the African Union, the international community, and in line with the African Union campaign to accelerate the reduction of maternal mortality in Africa, karma, as well as the Dubai Declaration that prioritize support to scale up plans for accelerated progress towards improving maternal, newborn, and child health, we are committed to promote the use of birth spacing, investing the expansion of skilled birth attendance and protection of the right of the adolescent, including young girls, to access quality, sexual, and reproductive health service. Mr. Chairman, in this view, our government plans to work hand-in-hand -hand with the partners such as the UNFPA, World Health Organization, UNICEF, donors and civil society organizations to launch the African Union campaign to accelerate the reduction of maternal mortality in Africa, karma, an acceleration plan on the mother, child health, the mother and the child health in the country in the coming months. On behalf of my government, I wish to thank the African Union, the international community and all friends and well-wishers for their generous support and assistance to the people of Somalia during this difficult moment in our history. Thank you. Thank you for this valuable contribution.